If you are looking to protect your real estate interests even in death, here are the things to do to avoid probate. Hi, and welcome to Jacksonville, Florida 360. My name is Sonetta Spicer. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the greater Jacksonville, Florida area. If you are relocating or need to sell or buy a home, please contact me for a consultation. My information is in the description box below. Thank you, and let's get into this video. The very first thing you want to do is seek legal advice. Go to an estate planning attorney. For instance, when I purchased my very first home many years ago, the very first thing I did was estate planning. I created a living will so that if something would have happened to me, everything would be laid out, who gets what in the house, and also life insurance. So keep that in mind when you are going and seeking legal advice because it can get complicated if you have several properties. The next thing you want to do when you are meeting with your state planning attorney, you want to create a living will so that you can still be in control of your real estate and assets even if you are incapacitated. Next, you want to reevaluate the deed on your home. If you do not go through the state planning attorney, then consider putting the person that you want your house to go to on your deed because in most cases that will prevent them from going through probate. The next thing you want to do is consider and designate a beneficiary to not only your life insurance but also to your bank accounts and other assets that you may have. If you have a bank account, see if your bank has a POD or paid on death. This will allow the person that you designate to take care of the finances to roll into being the sole person on the bank account. This will avoid them going through the probate process in order to be able to access the funds even if it's in the will. And last but not least, keep a record of all of your documentations in a safe place and let people that you trust know where your documents are. In an event that something should happen to you, let the person that you designate to take care of your estate and account, let that person know where it's located, if it's in a certain safe in the house or even if you have it in a bank safe. That concludes our video for today. If you find this information valuable, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for the next video.